Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Nice to see you. It's bright Sunday today and let's discuss on the month of July what's going to happen and yes there are major eclipses this month and I have already made the video on the eclipse which is happening on July 13th for some places it's July 12th. If you have not watched it then this is there in the description and I will also put it in the comments all right and if you want a consultation and you want to know how these eclipses are going to affect you then you can always go to my website the link is also there in the description below and if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and before I begin as I always say God is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and he will help you to understand the energy of the eclipses and what they are trying to tell us in life all right so now let's see how the month is starting so as july creeps in it's already one week past so venus has entered leo and sun is still in gemini as we all know mercury has entered cancer and it is with rahu there jupiter is in swati nakshatra in the sign of libra saturn has entered mula nakshatra again it had entered long back and then we have Mars and Ketu in the sign of Capricorn. All right. So this is the uh, beginning of the month. So basically the harmonious energies of Gemini and Cancer are going to play a very important role in the initial days till the time Venus is there in Cancer. But Venus has now already left Leo. So now the dynamics of this month has changed from Taurus, Gemini and Cancer to Gemini, Cancer and Leo. So basically this month is a very good time for a creative self-expression. Going out and meeting people, making new friends, going and going for job hunting. This is also a very good month because the energies of Cancer and Leo are quite harmonious for doing things that we love in, in internally because they rule the original fourth house of home, happiness, peace and the fifth house of creativity, love, romance, etc. Right. So therefore, the, these energies will help us to find things that we like to do in this world. And if we have some long term plans about uh, opening a new YouTube channel or opening something related, if you want to open a restaurant or if you want to start some new online business, you want to open a stall, you want to open anything it can be, whatever interests you. That is a very good time because sun is in Gemini. You will be able to communicate yourself very properly. That is the best thing about Gemini. They can communicate very well. Although sometimes too much but still uh, they can very well communicate. And then there is the sign of cancer. So if there are planets in cancer then it can show that people like those things which you do. Because they will tend to have a heart to heart connection. And this is this is also the time where we can bond uh, our existing relations with people in a more in a much more stronger and more powerful way we can form deeper connections with people rather than just discussing superficial things on the surface like how's the weather like or who won the cricket match or who got married to whom let's discuss something substantial so this month is very good for doing all these things because venus the planet of love romance beauty is also in the sign of leo leo also deals with creative self self expression uh, but because it is an enemy sign for the sun uh, for venus therefore it can happen that when venus enters leo we can uh, be too much self obsessed about ourselves when it comes to relationship so we need to guard on our own emotions and we need to check that we do not try to impose too much of our ideals and our beliefs of what is right and wrong and what should be done and what should not be done in relationships. That's very important. And then we have Rahu with Mercury in the sign of Cancer. So now what happens when Mercury is in Cancer? Now Mercury is the planet of logic. It's the planet of our thinking, logical thinking. The way we think this is right, this is wrong. That planet, when it goes to the sign of Cancer, it gets confused a bit because cancer only thinks through emotions cancer people will not do things which they love which, which they don't like rather than saying which they don't love i would say they will not do things which they don't like very much or if they dislike something or dislike somebody they will tend to avoid that person now you may say oh everybody will avoid things which they don't like but 
what i am saying here is in every aspect of their life if there is something which they don't like they will not go near that so when mercury goes there uh, it can become uh, too much of a emotional hotspot which means that we might have a plan in our in our in our head that we want to join the gym we want to go here we want to do this we want to do that but when it goes to cancer and why i am speaking about mercury in cancer here because mercury is going to turn retrograde by the end of the month which means that it will stay in cancer for a long 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 time so we need to understand this properly so now what happens when mercury will be in cancer it can happen that we plan to do something we can make a note of things but then suddenly when we start implementing them on the forefront we we might feel that oh <laughs> i wanted to do this but this is not this is not good you know this is not nice so i will not do it <laughs> this can happen with people and this has happened with people and this always happens with people who have mercury originally placed in the sign of cancer or in any other water sign also so and because of that what can happen we can too much reschedule our plans by trying to fit in our emotional quotient into that which means that we will try to see first what we like and what we don't like and then we will try to arrange our day oh i don't like to have lunch here so before uh, going there and finishing of this task i will first take my lunch there and then i will go here where i can do my uh, things related to mercury which represents planning your life etc finances and all the activities of the day are primarily governed by mercury because it show it is the original karaka for the 10th house of career and work and most of the times in our life we are working actually so mercury becomes very important so now when mercury is in cancer we can feel this tug of war inside that we we do something but uh, we decide to do something but because of some reason because we don't like that we don't end up doing it we do something else so we need to maintain a reality check and we need to ensure that we do not change our plans too much that can happen sometimes and because this is with rahu then it can seem things are bloated out of proportion which means that we will make some plans and they will go so wrong that we might feel that oh we need to take a different course of action altogether we need to change the entire battleground itself what to speak of uh, changing the tactics so we need to be very realistic when we make some plans and if we are not going to be happy with those plans then better we don't do them now we can wait till mercury advances and goes to leo and turns direct later on because what happens is then even if you do things we may not be inside there our heart will not be there because we will have this paradox we will think uh, intellectually this is good and emotionally i am not happy okay so if you are happy doing something only do that then otherwise better not do it now if you want to go to some function but you know internally there are some people who you don't like there so better don't go there okay it can be any function so this is how it starts and then jupiter is in the nakshatra of swati i have also made the video of jupiter in swati that transit please watch it if you are not watch i'll put it down in the description below so what happens is jupiter has been retrograde from vishakha to swati and then when it entered swati swati is basically space and bio there are too many things which are there in swati so in vishakha it represents bran- branches which also means there are too many options but branches are quite more realistic than what swati is swati is air imagine wind and air it's all over <laughs> and vishakha is at, at least branch you can see branches oh this tree has 20 branches 30 branches so this means that we which whichever area jupiter is ruling in our chart we were narrowing down our options when jupiter was direct from swati when it entered vishakha and now when it has re-entered swati we again started thinking we again started going top uh, to the top and having the bird's eye view swati shows that bird's eye view and then we will now stop why because jupiter is going station now it is going to be station on 12th and then from 12th it is going to be direct i think it's getting station on 11th and some places they say it's on 10th so whatever it is but by 12th it will start going direct jupiter yes it is going direct i'll also make a video on that so now what will happen is we have completed our 
arena of revisiting the different encounters which we had so suppose jupiter rules your fourth house if you are a sagittarius lagna for example then jupiter also rules your fourth house including your lagna then it can happen that some things related to education you are figuring out and then you are confused and you say oh no i need to see the other options also and then now from there you will again now narrow down things because from swati it will enter vishakha by august first week by third august i think it is entering uh, vishakha again so now the best thing we can do is because jupiter is direct now in swati we can take a final reality check on those houses which jupiter is ruling in our chart if jupiter rules the second house then take a reality check on finances and try to figure out different options by which we can ensure that our finances are running well or if jupiter rules the third house then see if you can take some new endeavors or if you are planning to do something new because third house shows new efforts maybe or may not be it is realistic that you will come to know when jupiter enters vishakha but during this time we can figure it out all right and then if it's ruling fourth house i already said then accordingly you can see the house lords and whatever house whichever house jupiter is ruling if it's 10th house then it's something to do with your career and if it's 9th house it has something to do with religion and your father and all these areas of life all right so we can take a reality check and check out the various options i'm very sure you you have been feeling this i am feeling this at least and then finally we narrow down options and then later on when it will enter anuradha nakshatra we will focus on more of the options but that's later not now it's by the end of the year or maybe beginning of next year because even scorpio has the nakshatra of vishakha so it will enter i guess maybe by november or so we need to check the dates when it enters anuradha so uh, now is a very good time to have a reality check on all the options which we thought that we could have incorporated into our current areas where jupiter is ruling and then we move ahead after uh, august first week when jupiter enters vishakha again so that is one good thing we can do and then the next thing which is happening is the solar eclipse on 13 july some places it's 12th it is the new moon which is occurring in the sign of gemini and sun and moon will be in the nakshatra of punarvasu and rahu is in pushya nakshatra and because it is in close proximity from cancer with this sun and moon which is in the end of gemini therefore we will see that the eclipse is happening this is not a full eclipse this is a partial eclipse because uh, rahu and uh, rahu is quite far away from the sun and moon and now what happens is because the energy of punarvasu is there so as i have made the video recently you can watch that also that also i'll put in the description uh because of that what happens is we can start doing things which are very routine repetitive that is what punarvasu signifies so i will not speak much on the eclipse i i suggest you go to the video and watch the eclipse video of 13 july okay so that eclipse is happening there and it is a great time to do new spiritual activities because on punarvasu whatever we do we will uh, be able to do it again and again and again and we can do donations and forgive people and ask forgiveness from others to whomever we have done wrong so please watch that video so that is happening and then on 16th sun mercury and rahu will be conjunct in the sign of cancer therefore now the gemini energy is over and it's not over actually but the effect will be felt less because no planet is transiting gemini now and now sun with mercury rahu will also be transiting in the sign of cancer which is the sign of our comfort emotions happiness contentment peace satisfaction luxuries mother <laughs> all those things are shown by the sign of cancer so when sun also enters Mer uh, with mercury and rahu there will be lot of focus lot of our power uh, attention because sun shows the focus power attention that will be diverted towards wherever the energy of cancer is according to your ascendant so if this is happening in your 7th house which means if you are a capricorn lagna then your focus will shift towards relationships if this is happening in your 10th house your focus will shift towards career if this is happening in your 11th house you will start focusing on your finances and gains and friends network circle socials social circles associations that's the 11th house all right and then we will also try to gain lot of emotional happiness sa satisfaction content from that area wherever cancer is there because that is the place where 
we will uh, feel like gaining more and more happiness out of it okay not pleasure more it's happiness there's a difference between happiness and pleasure so that is what will happen and during all the course of time the entire month venus will be in leo so this is a very good time to do new creative things because leo is the original fifth house of creativity and venus is also the planet of creativity so if you want to join a new school where they teach arts this is a fantastic time it's a great time to write poetry it's a great time to decorate our home it's a great time to bring new things into our home it's a great thing to a uh, great time to go and meet out new people so these are the things that we can do when uh, venus is in leo but the only thing is we should not force ourselves too much on our partners or on the opposite sex that that can be uh, that can be dangerous for our relationships okay and then what happens is in the 27th of july there is the eclipse now this is a lunar eclipse and this is a full moon lunar eclipse because moon and ketu are in quite close proximity and then uh, we also have sun in cancer because of that this is a full moon and now i will also make the video on this lunar eclipse maybe by next week or so and i will pin the uh, video's uh, link in the description so you can watch that also but generally what i would say is uh, because this is a eclipse which is uh, which is a which is happening with moon and ketu and because it's a full moon so it can happen that wherever the sign of capricorn is falling it can happen that there is some big load you are now letting go finally that can happen wherever capricorn is just check in the chart you will feel that a big burden has released <laughs> i would i would use the word burden because capricorn can show burdens at times doing things which we do not like to do it's like a barren land okay so it can happen that there's something which we have been taking on our shoulders from very long and now finally either we have completed it or we have thrown it out <laughs> ultimately we have decided that's it i'm done with this i'm not doing this anymore okay so if there is something which you are planning to release and this can be more pertaining to your workplace work field and all these areas then please make sure you release it completely which which means that if you know internally see why i'm saying this because saturn is also in mula now and saturn is the original ruler of the 10th house and the 11th house so because of that mula nakshatra energy shows that either you plant new seeds or you uh, and for that you have to uproot the original uh, existing seeds so something which has been bogging us too much depending on the areas of where uh, sagittarius and uh, capricorn is falling in our chart we can feel that oh that's it <laughs> enough i am done with this so if uh, there is there are things related to relationships which have been bogging you suppose cancer is uh, so sorry suppose capricorn is falling in your seventh house then it can happen that you will let go of one of the uh, one person not one of the sorry one person uh, because you will feel you will feel that no now i am i have had enough with this person i cannot stay why letting go because it's ketu and full moon shows that all our efforts are coming into com completion so if anything uh, we plan to get rid of this is the best time to do that and please do not feel bad if anybody also kicks you out from their life <laughs> maybe they have had enough with you so they have maybe said that oh i'm kicking out this person from my life i don't message this person anymore so it can happen that we message somebody and that person doesn't reply i will feel bad <laughs> but it can happen okay so these are the things which i would say and that's it so i'll make the video on shravan nakshatra on the eclipse and please wait uh, and watch that i will also give it in the description of this video once that video is done all right and in the meantime i had made so many videos on saturn's transit in mula nakshatra then jupiter's transit in swati and mars oh yeah i forgot to tell about mars mars is also retrograde now so jupiter is going to be direct by 12th mercury will be station and it will turn retrograde by the end of this month and mars will still be retrograde and saturn is already retrograde so mars and saturn will be retrograde throughout the month and mercury will turn retrograde at the end so when mars is with ketu i've already made the video if you have not watched then please watch it so when mars is with ketu what happens is 
depending on the sign now what happens is mars is exalted here in capricorn but because it is retrograde it wants to behave like it is seven houses apart because it has a ichha shakti which is very strong and ichha shakti is what aspect desire seven houses apart so now mars is in capricorn so what can happen is whichever houses mars is ruling we feel very strong and confident regarding those houses but now due to some reason or the other <laughs> we can feel that oh now we have taken a back step in that in that area so for example if mars is ruling your 10th house if you are aries lagna i know some of my friends who are aries ascendants and from the time mars has gone retrograde from uh, june 27th yes mars has turned retrograde from that time they are now telling me that oh maybe i will change my job <laughs> maybe i will change my career okay so i mean sorry not for aries ascendants i mean that for aries now mars is transiting in your 10th house so that is why you can revisit areas relating to your 10th house okay and because it is capricorn so it is also um, signifying all these our work ethics and principles in life which we take because 10th house is the house of resolution so it can happen that whichever houses mars is ruling now we behave as if it is in debility which means that due to some reason we feel that we need to do some homework the retrograde planet will do lot of homework and if mars is ruling your 6th house then this will be related to health if mars is ruling your 5th house this can be related to your children all right so i can go on and on but you need to see the video which is there on mars ketu conjunction okay so that is it from my side and this is a great month to go and socialize meet people start off new things do creative things and enjoy basically and at the same time some things to let go during the end eclipse which is happening and then the punarvasu energy kicks off in between they where the solar eclipse is there okay so beginnings new beginnings and wish you good luck and watch the other videos which i have made okay until next time and yes if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a personal consultation and you want to know how this transit is going to affect you then you can go to my website to book a reading it is there in the description of this video and then you can book a reading and before ending as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and so see you next time with the transit videos of the month of august okay bye bye see you